every person is a biological unit, that you're comprised of an emotional psyche, the brain, and the organs of the body. And when we have an unexpected event, an unexpected, what we call in GM a conflict shock or a DHS, a DHS stands for Dirk Hammer Syndrome. So a conflict shock is an unexpected event that in a split second, you subconsciously and subjectively perceive as emotionally distressing. Okay, so that's important because it's very subjective. It happens below your conscious awareness and it happens in a split second. And this diagram is not actually accurate because it doesn't go from the shock of that phone call creates an impact in the brain, creates changes in the tissue. It happens almost simultaneously. Okay, it's a biological process that gets triggered, that's ingrained in humans, animals, in organisms, in order to assist that organism in dealing with a potentially deadly or threat, life-threatening situation. Okay, so this is an, an, an initial biological response at the brain, at the organ, and at the emotional psyche level. What this means is that pretty much every symptom, according to Dr. Hammer's research, that we're going to experience outside of a physical trauma or poisoning is probably going to be due to a conflict shock or a DHS, especially when you have no explanation or it seems to come out of nowhere. There's no mechanism of injury. Okay, so that means that there was a split second subconscious subjective event or a shock that you perceive as a theme. Dr. Emra identified all these different themes. So there's morsel conflicts, there's territorial conflicts, there's different types of devaluation conflicts, there's different themes based on biologically how you perceive that threat or that shock or that phone call or that text message or that email or that comment or that criticism or that circumstance. When you start to look at your day-to-day -day lives, we start to realize that in a day, in a few hours, we could all be experiencing something unexpected, which means if it's a shock to you subjectively, it's gonna create an impact that's measurable in a CT scan somewhere on the brain. And where it goes is dependent on how you subconsciously and subjectively perceived it at that split second. So again, we don't know unless you have a brain scan and we can find it with these rings and it'll show Dr. Hammer mapped out the brain. If the rings are in this part of the brain, that means you had a scare. If it's in this part of the brain, that means you had an anger. If it's on this part of the brain, that means you had a separation. Okay, so it's mapped out. And then wherever that goes in the brain, because the brain controls every organ in the body, it's going to initiate a physiological response in the tissue or the organ controlled from that area of the brain. Okay, so this is like a great system. Like Dr. Hammer mapped it all out. So based on the symptom that you present to me with, if you have a skin rash, I know that the skin, the outer skin epidermis is controlled from the sensory cortex, which means for that to be there, you would have experienced some unexpected conflict shock or DHS that you perceived as a separation or a fear of separation or a wanting to separate, depending on what part of the skin was affected. So do you see how based on the symptom alone, we can go back to recognize what you must have experienced. And this is the beauty of how Genome works. What Dr. Hammer's research is really providing the world is that you can now have an idea about what's going on in someone's life at a subconscious level based on the symptoms that they're presenting. Like, that's amazing. 